What's going on guys, Devon here. Today we're building the 500 horsepower 5.3 budget build in virtual reality. That's right, we're gonna build this engine out in the simulation, see what we can do, see what it can do, and then we're gonna take it to the real life, we're gonna build the engine out and see how it stacks up to what we built in this simulation. The game we're playing today is called Automation. It's a car company tycoon game. So in this game, you are a, um, you're your own car manufacturer. So you get to build your cars from the ground up. Uh, the campaign version is to see whips work in progress it's still early release but they did just release a big update on that but uh, more on that later anyway we're doing sandbox so we can build this engine so let's go over here to engine manager new family all right so we're building the engine building the 53 ls we got a v 60 degree eight cylinders we have a cast iron block on this particular build so we're going with a uh 96 bore, 92 millimeter stroke. Hit that out. It's perfect for a shot. Nice. Push rod, head material, aluminum, no All right, cast iron crank, cast iron connecting rods. Although we will come back and build the block and do some big things. Uh, cast pistons, because it's completely stock right now on the bottom end. It's all new parts, but completely stock. Also, this allows you to curate a variant. So if you were building other engines based off of this one, you can do that here. Quality max, because we're all about that good stuff. All right, so compression ratio, stock 9.5 to one. Now the cam profile is interesting because uh, the game has their own uh, logarithm. You can't just choose your own uh, intake and exhaust duration and lift and all that. So we're gonna go with the coat profile. So we are using on our build a LS9 camshaft. Um, that's a fairly sporty cam. So let's just start off with uh, somewhere in the middle of sport, say 62. Uh, no EPT, quality, max. All right, so we do plan on going twin turbos. If you didn't know that, now you know. So turbocharger, ball bearings, uh, intercooler. So we want to make 500 horsepower, but we do not want to stress the cooling or the intercooler itself. So. Let's make sure this is uh, properly sized. Let's do, can't do 750, so 722 sounds good. All right, compressor size. So me and Ben have loosely, not really loosely, we have talked about the sizing for the turbos. We've done some research. We've looked at some dyno charts for various builds. Um, we've watched various videos and, you know, seeing how different things performed. And uh, we think somewhere around the 60, 61 range is gonna be for what we want. It's gonna be good for what we're trying to get with power and the response that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and uh, build that. So compressor is gonna go down to 60. Turbine's gonna be 61. Now, yeah, 60, 61. All right, AR ratio. Uh, this is more so gonna affect our uh, spool time, our response, and let's leave it right now at the standard 0.8, and then we can mess with that later as we see. We do want to run about 15 pounds, a little, you know, stoic, but a little bit, a little bit nicer than stoic. Quality max. But also, a little tip: uh, whenever you have you're doing your turbo sizing, um, if you have it offset just a little bit, have the turbine a little bit larger than the compressor, it allows for a good spool and a good efficiency range for the for the uh, power. Injection. All right, so we're doing a multi-point EFI. Single and standard. Now, oh man. Now in the past, uh, they do, like I said, they recently did a large update and they changed the manifolds because originally when you did single, single, single standard, it was actually just like your standard LS style intake manifold. It was really nice, but they had to change that. I guess maybe they got hit with proprietary or something, you know, patents and whatnot. So this is what we're working with. Not the best looking, but we can work with it for right now and we can always come back and change it later. So uh, fuel type. This is in the UK standard RON and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I hear that ultimate 100 RON would be equivalent to our full E85. So we're going to run that. Uh, let's fuel mixture. Mm, let's keep it safe to start. So we'll do like a 13. And we'll leave the ignition alone for right now. RPM limit 7 to 7,000. 
Nice and safe, quality, max. All right, so we have the exhaust. So, I'm gonna dual exhaust, no bypass valves. Uh, we want about three inches. There we go. No cats, it's a race car, no muffins. Their type this baby. All right, so it tells you the power right there. Now, like I said, before the update, you would have to run the dyno first and then tell you the power. It tells us the power, we hit our goal, but I wanna hear this baby scream on the dyno. Smooth. Nice. It's got a nice note, it's very smooth, a nice growl to it. The power curve is very smooth <laughs> curves up nice make peak power at 347 at 3363 rpm peak torque 542 very nice at 3363 rpm and then immediately after that power takes over so it's constantly throwing you back in your seat never not letting up and uh the engine itself is good everything's green no knocking uh no wear Turbo is running good, intercooler is more than efficient. The turbine maxes itself out, but that's okay. When does it get maxed out? Okay, okay. About halfway into the power range, it gets maxed out. Cool thing, you can actually manual. good that sounds really good so we made our goal it's really reliable it's basically stock uh it's pretty smooth and let's make some more power that's a lot more stress on the components let's see if we can make more power without over stressing the components but we're, we're almost we're almost maxed out with everything we can do outside of internals we don't want to go internals yet it's actually making less power So we can peak the power, but we'll lose reliability. Will it blow up if we make that 800? Yeah, the less cam it will blow up. Okay, so we're not gonna use less cam. I'll, I'll, I wanna save the cam and make the 800 with the cam. Hmm. Can't change the turbo. We're at 773. We're almost max for what we can do. We can throw ITVs on it. Let's throw ITVs on it. Why not? Oh yeah. Now we're talking. That made a lot less power. Interesting. Oh wait, no. I was looking at the torque. <laughs> I was looking at the torque. 808 horsepower at 7,100 RPMs, which means it probably needs to breathe some more. No, 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 it drops off hard after that, okay. So we're up 72, and it's still reliable, has not blown up yet, and we made 808 horsepower, 712 foot-pounds of torque, let's hear how it sounds. I guarantee you, it will sound different. The turbo, now the turbo's maxed out, so now we need to go to a bigger turbo. We'll probably make 1,000 horsepower. It's still in stock internals, too. Sick. I was loud, throaty, and aggressive. Let's do it again.
shooting is so loud, you probably can't even hear me talk over it. <laughs> That's why I wasn't even trying. It was just like, it's this pointless. That's awesome. This thing is amazing. And it's still on stock internals. We haven't touched anything. That's still cast everything. Cast iron. Uh, dude, wow. That's... <laughs> <laughs> No, that's really cool. I'm enjoying this. So thank you guys so much for checking it out. We are going to throw this into a car. We can build cars. On top of that, once this is all done, I can take these game files, um, this in the engine characteristics, this engine itself, and I can port it over to a set of Corsa and we can drift it. And that'd be really cool. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this build and what kind of car that you'd like us to put this in in this virtual simulation. And uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna have some fun. So. Remember to like this video, leave us a comment below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome content like this. We'll see you guys next time and do something awesome. Peace.